Everything's working on that side. Everything's working on that side. Those are all working. And those are working. Beautiful. Love it when a plan comes together. Okay, so if a cop is spitting straight on and I'm ducked down here, is am, am I going to be able to avoid it or not? Now, if I do fall down here from that height, I'm almost surely going to break my leg. Hey, thanks for coming and hanging out. I'm an old guy gaming. And if you want to see this 50-year-old dude take on the hardest settings that Seven Days to Die has to offer, make sure you stick around and watch the whole video so you know how it turns out. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, tap that bell so you don't miss out on any old guy gaming action. And if you've already subscribed, you, my friend, are awesome sauce. All right, guys, new plan, new plan. Uh, I was afraid something like that was maybe going to happen. So we're going to try this a little bit differently. What I think I'm going to do is we're going to do let me look at, let me do, again, I'm, I'm completely making this up as I go. But we're going to try, that's four there, right? And four here. We're going to try a variation, an advanced variation, on the cheese tower. If you have watched my first couple of episodes of this series, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, so this is an advanced version of the cheese tower. Now, the idea here is going to be that, whoa, okay, we're going to have to, ex we're going to, have to do that one more. That I can, as needed, jump over to this other side. And what we'll do is we'll extend it out from all four sides like so okay so there's four there right now so now I can did I uh I guess I need to uh, go five, don't I? Yeah, I need to go five. That was a that was an awfully long jump. There we go. Okay, so the idea now is that I can jump across on these and move around and try and. Dodge the cop spit. And if things get to be too much, now what but what I want to be able to do this, I still have to have some kind of some way to shield from that because you know if anything's gonna kill me, that's what it's gonna be. So what if we what if we do this? We'll put these here, like so. Maybe we'll even do three. We're just going to do this on one side first to see if it's actually even going to hold up. We'll do three there on each side. Okay, so I'm over here now, and let's say that... Um... You know, cops are, are over that direction. They're coming from that direction and they're spitting at us. Okay. Um, or, you know, even for off to the sides. So what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to come in here. Let's stop this and get some more arrow slits going. Oh, I can. Oh, shoot. I guess I can make these as wet concrete. Well, shoot. Let's just do that then. Um...
Oh, that's how you make wet concrete blocks. I guess you can make, I forgot, you can make those right in your inventory. Dan, Hall, if you're watching this, that's how you make wet concrete blocks. I completely forgot about that. Okay, uh, that, that's a whole nother story. Anyway, um, okay, so let's try this. Whoops. Let's try this. We're going to need 3, 6, 12. Let's make 12 of these. I just want to make sure that this is going to actually hold up. But I don't, I'm not going to put anything here because it's just, you know, the structural integrity just gets really wonky. Um... Yeah, let's put those there. If I put that there, can I squeeze in here? I can, but then I'm possibly vulnerable from that side. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? The thing is, if the cops are spitting from there, I'm gonna be—I'm gonna run over to one of these other ones anyway. So we're gonna—we're not gonna do this. Go away. Okay, so the, the question is, will this hold up to all these blocks? So I'm only really vulnerable if they're spitting from there, in which case I'll try and dodge it and come over and jump like over to here and then, you know, get behind protection. That's kind of the idea. Now, of course, the other thing is I'm going to have to be really careful when I'm doing my jumps that I don't... Um, miss that because that's going to be a death sentence probably all right he's not over here so i'm just going to put these up here and it's either going to collapse or it isn't <laughs> okay one more to go if this one holds up then we should we should be in pretty good shape. I didn't know I could shoot through chain link. I do now. All right, so. There. Now. So this protects us from, you know, stuff coming, you know, and I could get down here and kind of squeeze in here too. That's pretty decent protection from anything, you know, either on that side or coming from that way. The other thing too is, well, no, the cops are going to stand out there and try and spit at me. They will do that. So, um... Just trying to think if there's one other thing I could maybe do. I was thinking about putting a couple more blocks here. Can I attach ladders to the outsides of these? Let's look at that for a minute. I can. All right. Because what we could do... So we could put two more of these right here, and this this is over the actual support. So I don't I'm not worried about structural integrity, and that would also give us a spot then to hide right here too, if something's spitting at us from there. Let's just look at that and see what it looks like. I Made all that cobble, and I didn't need to, but that's okay. That's not a problem. Now, this place is not necessarily going to be spider-proof. Um, so that could be a thing. But what, what I will do, though, is if I get a, actually get a spider up here, I'll just jump across and then it'll, the spider will drop down into the pit. So I think that will, that will cover that problem. 
Okay, so let's put this here. So now I should be able to hide right in here if there's a cop spitting from that direction. That's the theory anyways. Okay, so let's jump down. And we'll put two more ladders up here. Um... Hmm. I just realized the problem with this, though, is I can get up here. But how do I get back out this way? Um, and I can almost jump that high. I guess one way to do that would be to just set one of these down. We could jump up here. Whoop. And then go down that way. I'm not super thrilled about that idea, though, because I'd rather have, you know, something a little more permanent. The other thing, I wonder, I just wonder if, if I was crouching, if one block high would be enough to, to block that. There's really only one way to find out. <laughs> okay. We're going to do that. We're going to try it with just one block. Okay, so if a cop is spitting straight on and I'm ducked down here, is am, am I going to be able to avoid it or not? What I might do if I if I can't, if that doesn't work, you know, on Horde Night, I might have a couple more of these in my inventory ready to place. Of course, they'll be pretty weak uh, being wet concrete, but... Um, see, now I can get out of here, right? But anyway, let's try that and see um, see how it works. But I think it's going to hold up. So we'll do these other ones. I'm going to need a total of 6 on each side, 12, 13 per. And i got 3 more to do, so 13 times 3 is 39. We need to make 39 more of these suckers. Let's do it. Okay, while we're waiting for the arrow slits uh, to finish, we're going to collapse this thing. Okay, there goes that stuff. Starting to get a little thirsty there. Now we'll do this side. There she goes. Okay. So, um, let's go ahead and start putting this one together. We're doing three blocks here and three here. We'll get these in place too so they can start drying. Okay, so we're going to put Flickering's bugging me. Um, right? Yeah. Okay. And then we'll have to put another ladder on that one, but we'll wait until our slits are done. Excellent. Okay, so we need three more ladders. Oh, 
probably better not eat that meat stew if I'm having trouble getting uh, heated up here. So we'll put that ladder there. All right. And I think that's it for for the cheese towers. You know, there's a problem with this though. There's a big problem with this now that I think about it. See, I was expecting all of this to be the pit. Um, but now if I'm hiding up here, the zombies are going to be able to stand right here and just bang on that. Of course, they're going to be able to bang on this too. Do I have steel in my inventory? I don't. Huh. Okay. Well, that's another problem that I did not take into account. And really the only way we can deal with that is to cut, to shave away the concrete so they can't stand underneath here hmm kind of you know kind of make it like this now they still could stand to this side but if they start to congregate there then i'll just run across to the other tower <sighs> hmm. maybe that's still the answer anyways but what's going to make that tricky is that if i have cops spitting at me all at the same time you know What time is it? It's 8 o'clock in the morning. We still have some work that we need to do back at the base, too. So, just trying to think how I want to handle this. I'm going to carve all this out so so that each side is, is like that side is there. Because that's really kind of what I intended anyway. I didn't take into account that, you know, there was this uh, slope there. Uh, so, I will be back. All right, guys. Um, little change in plans here. I still haven't uh, finished completely taking the, the concrete down uh, back at the uh, new horde base. But I'm running out of time. It's already 12.30. And so I wanted to come back here first and just do a temporary, you know, makeshift redundant wiring job on the turbines, uh, the blade traps. And then we'll go back and finish up. And by, by the time we finish, it'll probably be time to actually start. So what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect... Uh, the existing wiring, it's all kind of just in a, a chain or in a series at the moment. And we're going to connect each one of these guys individually to the switch. So that way, again, if one of them goes out... Okay, uh, I don't know why that's not disconnected. There we go, okay. Then uh, the other ones can still run. Okay, so that's the idea. All right, so each one of those are disconnected. So now what we're going to do, let's, we should actually look at our ammo too. Oh, we're low on ammo. Well, there's nothing I can do about that. I don't have, well, maybe I do. I could make some more ammo too. Too much to do. Not enough time. I have some 7.62 rounds cook, um, cooking up in here too. So I'm going to go ahead and take the AK with me this time. Still don't quite have as much um, ammo as I would like to to start using that, you know, extensively. But 140, so we'll make 70 in this one, and we will make the rest in there. All right, so we've got to get moving here.
And voila! All right, let's make sure they're all gonna work. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Everything's working on that side. Everything's working on that side. Those are all working. And those are working. Beautiful. Love it when a plan comes together. All right, this thing is uh, getting about ready to collapse here, so I thought I'd bring you back. You can see the fireworks, so to speak. Also, um, I remembered what I forgot. I forgot to bring steel back with me because I was going to reinforce the the columns there. So we're gonna. I'm gonna try and uh, head back and grab that if we don't run out of time. It's gonna be tight though. Wow, I'm surprised that's still holding up. It's gonna. It's gonna collapse any minute here though. There it goes, or at least part of it, anyway. Almost there. There it goes. Excellent. Okay. Now let's run down there real quick and clean all that stuff up. And then what we're going to do is go back to base, get steel, come back, and lay spikes down, and then it'll be time. Okay, let's get these upgraded to steel. Let's hit this one, too. And I think what I want to do is I want to get... make all of these steel as well. Yeah, this, this is good. This is going to make those way stronger than even the reinforced concrete. I think I'm going to save the rest of the steel just to repair uh, what I have here. Okay, let's go down and lay some spikes. Now, if I do fall down here from that height, I'm almost surely going to break my leg. But even so, we are going to put ladders down. On both sides here. Let's put it here. There we go. Do I have enough to do this side too? Well, if I don't, I can make more. Give ourselves plenty of options to get out of here in a hurry if we need to. And we want those iron all the way up because, again, Spit's going to be flying. Excellent. Okay, let's lay spikes. Okay. Anything else we want to do before this gets underway? I don't really want to put spikes up here because I want them to fall down into the pit on the spikes that are down there. Plus, sometimes if you put spikes up, you know, near the supports, they can um, actually get hung up and then start beating on the support itself. Oh, you know what we could do? Let's upgrade these to steel. 
too, since I have some steel. I want to hang on to some of that though for repairing. How much does this cost? Oh, five per? Okay, yeah, let's just do it. Okay, well, it's time to start. It's time to get this party started. So let's get our crossbow in there. We'll keep those handy. And I guess we'll get our pipe bombs there. And welcome everybody to Horde Night 70. <laughs> 